It's Miss Universe, and Miss Columbia is walking across the stage. She looks absolutely beautiful, but all that's going through her mind is, I wonder if I'm beautiful enough. Will they like me? But all that's going on in the viewer's mind is, I wish I could be as beautiful as she is. But Miss Columbia holds her head high because low confidence is not beautiful, and she continues to walk across the stage. A few women later, Miss Philippines does the exact same, but in her head, she's thinking, this is what I took the diet pills for. This is worth the skipping meals. This is worth the hunger, because I look beautiful. And yet, she's still scared because she doesn't know what they'll think, and she walks across the stage. Finally, the most important night part of the night comes. Who won? Was it Miss Columbia? Was it Miss Philippines? It was Miss Columbia, and then it wasn't. Her crown was taken and given to Miss Philippines. But there was a lot of controversy that night. Did Miss Columbia deserve the crown, or did Miss Philippines? The truth is, no one that night deserved the crown, because this is a game you cannot win. Beauty pageants are about beauty, but there's no rubric for beauty. Beauty is not walking across the stage in a big, uncomfortable dress and some painful heels and makeup covering all your flaws. That's not what beauty is. Beauty is the loyalty, the faithfulness, the love that he has for what he does. Beauty is the passion that she fights with for things that she believes have worth. Beauty is the way we offer kindness to each other. Beauty is the scars that we all harbor from experience. Beauty is internal, external, and it's eternal. So why do we taint the name of what beauty is through these heinous competitions? Beauty industry is not the dress up we knew as little kids. This is a multi-million dollar industry that feeds off our insecurity. As if to tell you that isn't enough, let's start with what happens to the women that partake in these competitions. Ages 30s, 40s, 50s. When these women go out there, they are subjected to low self-esteem, to eating disorders and depression. And these are associated not only with the women that lose, but with the women that win. What can we expect if these women are suffering like that? But the fact is that isn't only adults, it's children too. Children ages two to seven who don't even know the meaning of the word no are being forced to partake in these competitions. They are suffering much more extensively than the women who are grown up because According to a, d a study done by CNN, what does it mean when we hypersexualize children's environments? Well, they take negative hits towards their cognitive and emotional development. Cognition is the way we think, emotion is the way we feel. So what exactly happens when we take hits towards those areas? The APA determined that what happens is that we are too afraid to take jobs in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We are too afraid to take these jobs, therefore creating this kind of like mentality that women are not capable when they are. Beauty pageants hurt the women. They hurt women cognitively and emotionally. And this is not something we will stand for because these are children. But as if to tell you that it's only the people who partake in the competition, it's not. CNN did a study on what it means for boys and viewers watching the competition. For them, it means this idea of soul value on sex appeal. Suddenly, she's not a woman with a heart and a soul. She is a body, a sack of flesh and bones and blood, and that is all she is, and that is the only value she has. But this is not just a mentality, it's a reality. This leads to increased um, crimes in sexual harassment, sexual violence, and child pornography. These are children. Once again, they are the future of our generation. Is this what we want for them? Because it certainly is not what I want for me. We're all victims whether we realize it or not. This Halloween, I was a victim because I walked in for Halloween costume shopping at Kmart. And I was not sure what I wanted to be. I just knew I wanted to try it on, see what fits, see what I liked. But everything on the top said slutty waitress, sexy kitten, sultry firefighter. And that's when the idea hit me. When does being a woman mean being nude? Why can I not be covered and still be beautiful? Is being a woman equal to exploitation? What does it mean? And so I did the most logical thing that occurred to me at the time, and I went into the boys' section, and I dressed as the Grim Reaper. And that's, I was raised in a conservative environment. My mom always told me, leave something to the imagination. Do what makes you happy, do what makes you feel comfortable. And so that's what I did. I went into the boys' section, and I have no regrets. Because at the end of the day, I did what I need to do to keep myself covered. And this is my personal preference, and this is my body, and that is what I choose to do with it. 
And so after this, I had decided that that really hurt, that idea, that mentality for women, that not only affected me, but it can affect women everywhere. And we need strong women to come up here and tell them, tell the world that this is their place and that this is what they want to do. And a woman's only value is not from beauty. They have minds, they have souls, and they have a beating heart. And that's important. That is very important. But I did not come out here just to tell you there's a problem. There's a solution too. There will be another Miss Universe, and there will be another Miss America, until there's not, until we stop. Because when we watch, they thrive. So let's turn it off, let's change the channel, let's not let our children see this. Because when they do, they hurt. Because this is a mentality, and they're young, and they will slowly begin to pick up pieces from that if we don't stop it now. So turn off the TV, change the channel, because beauty starts in your head, not in a mirror. We were all born so beautiful. The greatest tragedy is being convinced we're not. Thank you.